Hello, Internet to your friendly neighborhood gremlin here, and today we're going to tailor a home for Raymond. By which I mean, give Raymond a tailor shop. I don't know. He's, like, the request is called the home tailored for me. So, I don't know. I thought it was cute. <laughs> I don't really know why we keep picking retail spaces when I'm not really good at them. And I mean, this turns out okay, I think, but it's not the greatest. Probably because I get too attached to the castle wall thing. But also, you know, these things just happen. And this build ends up being very gray. Is Raymond's favorite color red? Because he wanted, like, red walls and red floors, and I don't know. That just seemed a little weird, and not, like, the kind of thing that would be in a tailor shop. Or maybe they just like the red flower wall, and they thought the red floor would go with the red flower wall. I don't know why they're entirely different shades of red, so I wouldn't put them together regardless, but who knows. <laughs> the idea behind the castle wall was just to, like, split the space off. So there was like a retail front space and then like a place where he would do the tailoring. And the castle wall was in the order request and I was really excited about that fact. Not sure it was my best idea and I did seriously consider replacing it with partition walls. But then I didn't want to. I feel like I probably should but also I'm kind of attached to the castle wall. I also think this may have gone better if we, you know, sort of considered what tailor shops look like in real life instead of just getting really overwhelmed by all the things in the order and then just putting all of the things in. Because at least in my experience, tailor shops are places that are like really small. They have like a small like upfront desk where you tell them what you want and you drop your items off. And then sometimes they have like a little back space where you can go in and try the thing on so they can hem it to the right length and stuff like that. But it's not really like a big shop front. And this one's pretty big, mostly because of the castle walls, but also, I don't know, it just happened that way. I wanted to put too many things in, and I mean, really, that's always my downfall. I just do not know how to do minimalism. I just need to have all of the things, all of the time. And I do have to say, I did not imagine that Raymond would ask for a tailor shop. Admittedly, I don't really know very much about him, except apparently the internet's crazy about him, or was, at least for a time. I don't know if they're still crazy about him. He does look really good in clothes, though. Like, um, most of the things I put on him were good. So, maybe that's why they like him. That's the reason I like him. I don't know. He just doesn't really strike me as a tailor. But then, maybe that's just my mistake. And we add in security cameras, which feels kind of silly in, like, a tailor shop. But we do have the jewelry case. And again, they were in the order. So, they just sort of showed up. I suppose if you have jewelry, you'd kind of want that. I mean, this is Animal Crossing, so no one's breaking in anywhere, but <laughs> I don't know. Realism. And what we are doing here is creating a beautiful gallery wall that in the end you're not really going to be able to see very much of because the castle walls are in the way. We're going to move the plant and move it over a little bit so you can see some of it, but most of it's just kind of a little bit lost, which is sad because, I don't know, I think it's a pretty good gallery wall. It is absolutely just full of random shit, but I don't know. I like it. <laughs> And then the chandelier, which I was determined to have, even though I think it probably looks a little bit silly. The room does end up with quite a few lights in it. Like, we've got a light in the back, and then the chandelier, and then four lights on the front wall. I don't know. I just thought they looked kind of industrial, and, like, maybe that was kind of something I was going for at one point. And then, I don't know, they're just kind of there. <laughs> so, they just sort of stay there. But that is indeed the ground floor done. So, let's head upstairs, where he has kind of a little apartment. Mostly it's just a bed, and then some bookcases, and a sewing machine. And we end up with like a 4x6 too, which I think was nice. We don't really end up with rectangular rooms very often. It always feels like extra exciting when we manage to do that. Again, it's just the kind of thing that happens naturally. We don't ever set out with any plans at all, really. Which is probably my favorite part of these builds. That we just kind of go in and then things happen. That's how I like to build. It's fun and exciting for me, anyway. Oh, um, a thing I was supposed to mention. Ace has asked to move out, so I'm gonna have to go villager hunting on Roanoke. I don't know if that's a thing anyone wants to see. I know that people do villager hunt, like, videos. I don't really know how they do it, because I've never watched one. But, um, is that a thing anyone wants to see? I could go sit and kind of figure out what's going on in those videos, and we could do that. I know that sometimes people do, like, villager hunt live streams. Those are things I've watched. But I think maybe that's the kind of thing you do when you have an audience. So you have, like, someone to chat with while you go. And, I don't know, does anyone want to listen to me ramble for three hours while we try to figure out which villager we're going to have? I don't know. If you have an opinion, or you just don't want to see it at all, 
do let me know. That would be helpful. Sorry, we should talk more about the build. I don't know. Um, we ended up with a chessboard, again, in the order. And also, that's the kind of guy Raymond strikes because, like, the kind of guy who plays chess. And we were going to have, like, a whole chessboard set up for him. But then we ended up with a 4x6 room, and I really liked the 4x6 room. The one of the biggest downsides of these small rooms is it's really hard to put things on the walls because there's just not a lot of space, especially if you have windows. And I do really love putting things on walls. <laughs> We're going to end up with only one of those dried flower things because the um, lamp is in the way. In the way is maybe the wrong word to use there. It just sort of is like visually distracting. So we got rid of the other one. And now we can head outside. And we are not in the place where we usually do the retail spaces. Because we just did Biddy like on Monday. So that felt wrong. And so instead he gets this. Which doesn't feel very tailor shop exterior. But also I really like the way the exterior turned out. I think it looks nice. I mean literally nothing outside says tailor shop. Like at all at any point. It's just like a bunch of plants, but I think it looks nice. And we've got like the orange and purple theme going on, make it fall, and then just put all of the flowers at work. I did try to do like a diagonal path from the bridge, but the bridge, like you can't have the one in the middle. <laughs> it's weird and awful. I don't know. Diagonal bridges are hard. Like really diagonal everything is hard. Did he just spray those clothes? Oh, right. There's plants on top but it genuinely looks like he's just spraying the clothes. Anyway, we have reached the end of the video, so if you like the build or you just had a good time hanging out with me, you could hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the build, if you think villager hunts are a good idea, literally anything at all, and of course, if you think you might like to do this again sometime, you could hit that subscribe button. But I will see y'all on Friday, which is tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, goodbye!